Earlier this month, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigations issued an Amber Alert warning in the disappearance of a 17-year-old named Daphne Westbrook. Just two days later, Florida followed suit and issued an alert for the teenager as well, alleging that she's been kidnapped by her non-custodial father, John Oliver Westbrook. The pair have uh, avoided detection for a year and a half. This is frankly the kind of case where you, members of the true crime community, can really make a difference. I want to thank Profiling Evil family member Angel Price, who submitted this case through the evidence room at ProfilingEvil.com. I also want to shout out Tim Sessions in the back office for investigating this case and putting it together. Well, let's get started. You know, the Poly Class Foundation reports that only 9% of the quarter million missing children each year are actually kidnapped by family members as part of a custody dispute. That number's horrendous, though. It equals 22,500 children every year that get, ki- that get kidnapped by a supposed loved one. You know, 18 months ago, 16-year-old Daphne Westbrook left for a weekend visit with her father, again, John Oliver Westbrook in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Well, today, authorities are saying that she's being held against her will and she's unable to communicate with the outside world. In June of 2020, law enforcement secured an arrest warrant for Daphne's father, charging him with aggravated kidnapping and custodial interference. Sadly, no one has heard from him or the child. And Daphne's name now joins this growing list of children who are listed on the website of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Police have provided a number of photographs of Daphne and her father. You'll notice when you look at him that his appearance changes often. It indicates that he's probably going to continue to change his appearance and probably will change that of Daphne's. Her hair color and length may be different. And all of uh, this identification challenge is only complicated because we're now still in the middle of the coronavirus disease and mandatory use of face masks. It's likely that these two are living under our noses somewhere. Perhaps they're your new neighbors in a rental unit. The easily identifiable VW Bug that Daphne's father drove had a missing windshield at the time of her disappearance. It really stands out and, frankly, may not be in play any longer because it does stand out so much. If it is, though, it undoubtedly has incorrect license plates on it since it has never been registered at the time of her disappearance. Now, to complicate matters, Daphne's abductor is a computer wizard of sorts. He's worked all kinds of odd jobs doing IT work and may be listing his services on local channels like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. He understands the complex financial world of Bitcoin and blockchain technologies. This guy kind of envisions himself as a real-life Jason Bourne. Very dangerous. Publicly available resources suggest that Daphne and her father have been spotted in Florida, New Mexico, and recently in Colorado, down in the Colorado Springs area. Some people are theorizing that they may be headed to the Northwest perhaps even Washington State. Now, this is a nationwide hunt that requires all of us paying a little closer attention to the people around us. The authorities and Daphne's mother feel she is in a very dangerous situation, and they're pleading for our help. If you have any information about this case, please reach out to your local law enforcement agency and or the Hamilton County, Tennessee District Attorney's Office. You can reach them at 1-423-209-7415. Or you can email information to the Daphne tip uh, email link below, and you'll find that again below. So thanks for listening, and thanks for your support of Profiling Evil. Let's pray that together we can make the world a little bit safer. Thank you.